Hey everybody. So we decided to tackle our next big project, which is the other end of the house. My daughter's bedroom, that floor is really bad. Um, and instead of taking an entire week for Marco and I and the kids to do it ourselves, we asked some family to come and give us a hand to hopefully get the entire thing torn out, put back in, um, just in the weekend. So thankfully, uh, my mom, my dad, um, my sister, her husband, and her kids all came down. Um, we got everything that we wanted to accomplish finished. Um, we got to spend some really good time, eat some really good food. Um, unfortunately, you'll see later in the video that um, we had a little bit of a disaster. Um, so some of the footage is missing. Um, but hopefully what we do show you um, will be good enough. Thanks for watching. What's underneath that? Ooh, wow. Vinyl and rotted cloth. Oh, another vinyl cloth. Yeah. Look at it. That's the same one that was those in things, the house we're in. Those things intact are worth a fortune. No, that's not hand painted. No, but it's the same pattern. It's the tongue and groove underneath it. It's just, so there's two layers of tongue and groove. Yeah, they used the tongue and groove as the old decking. Underneath the floor, right there. Right. 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 What about a circular saw? Like you that's, just... that's what I was thinking. If we just did that, it's two and a half. Yeah, just so it's it's just strips. drawn. Is it termites or what or what? It's probably I don't I don't know. It doesn't look like termites. It looks like it's just old, way it's way probably old. Moisture oh. running underneath the house for the last 10 years, 20 yeah. years. Well, you said that. that. Where did you have water? Yeah. What were you talking about? So, all the way yeah, across. Across. <laughs> that's that's that scene, Probably that. Probably that. So as my mom and I left the room, I took her outside to show her where we had seen the water going underneath the house. This is something we noticed right after moving in. The driveway towards the front of the house is pretty steep, and every time we have a heavy rain, it runs down the driveway, down the hill, right to the front left corner of the house and underneath, um, and then out the back. So Marco and I redirected the gutter from the front of the house, and we also put in a culvert at the top end of the driveway so that we could divert the water across the driveway and down the hill before reaching the house. So that solved the problem, but now we're getting into dealing with all of the issues the problem caused. That room, yeah. Only the outside of the room was finished, the floor. The inside of the room, they never finished because they just put down a vinyl rug. Okay. Right. So, yeah, Save one. 
Cause it's starting to rain. Okay, we got a tarp. I'm sorry, Mark. No, no, you're fine. Where are we going to take it off of? I got one. Oh, that's right, the big one. Tell them what I gave you to do, please. That's right, that's right. You don't want that decking to get wet. Yeah. It will not be good. This is going to be fun. Yeah, we can have the bus on us so we can stand in it. So you can stand in it or stand on those joists, otherwise you're going right through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That one. I got nothing. All right. Not we need, like, a, pow a battery power a circular saw. Where's your... And just it's cut out it. there. That's what I'm thinking. Cut it right in the middle. Break it. Run it down the middle. Put it, pull it up easier when they're shorter. Yeah. We're going to... This is going to be... Yeah, we're going to have to bust that out so we can see the hell we're doing. Oh, Marco, you're not getting this out because it's under this wall. Do you like that color? I don't like it. Oh. This whole wall you is built on top of the floor. That way, before you move everything back in there, and then have to pull it back out. Right, I don't think the multi tool to cut it flush, huh? These color swatches on the top. Yeah, but how are you going to cut it and leave it, it under down. there when there's yeah. nothing yeah. underneath it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, if I cut it close, you know, oh, it goes all the way to the bathroom floor, or under the bathroom floor. Yeah. I don't know. It looks, looks like it does. Goes. No, I, don't, I think it stops at the, at the bathroom wall. That's where all these are stopped. Oh, uh, okay. So you don't think if I cut them right here, we can wiggle them out? Or you think the wall's nailed to it? Oh, yeah. Okay. So what you want me to do is just cut it as close to the wall yeah. as I can get it? Yeah. <laughs> wow. There ain't no stepping. Yeah, there's no floor. Right, well, the back is going to be No, I just got to make all this shit gone. That's really scary that I've been living on this. Oh, my goodness. I told you it was important. So Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Why do you think they kept making sure your insurance premiums were paid? <laughs> <laughs> right. right, well, yes. Oh, sorry, my head's in your video. Shovel. <laughs> no, I have a bunch of flathead shovels. Okay. Every time my feet sink, now my heart's getting beat. This is. <laughs> Yeah, 
feels it's cold. It's mold and moisture. Yes, yeah. fuzzy. Well, look, at, you had the ductwork there. But there's nothing Do you have the through. plastic to put down? Yes, we okay. have the plastic. Oh, yeah. We got plastic and we got Tyvek and insulation, so it'll be all good. She sent yeah. a message to your Like your wife with her friggin' lions, yeah. Yeah. Uh, she used to see lions all the time. Oh, well, she still does. We don't let her live it down. Oh, yeah. Everywhere we go. Kentucky is full of lions. Yeah, there it is. is.
so like that joist going across the wall. Yeah. That's that's a main beam. Mm -hmm. That's the red joist, eh? This house doesn't have that. Well, I mean, that's what they put in the same with that side. So we can't take that off. No. No. We can take these off. We can put another one up against it and make it level. I'd have to make these level to that. And, and then, yeah, so then put in the corner, put it out first. On top of that board? Okay. I don't need that. Yeah, we got big pieces we can put in there. Bigger pieces we can put in there and then all the scrap. And the plastic stuff. This stuff we can put in the bag. But the bigger wood, we put in the two and a half inch tank. Two inches at least. We're going to have to twist this and shim those over there to level them up, huh? Well, yeah. Because yeah, if it's not, we're not, like you say, we can't lift the whole corner of the house, so we just have to level the floor. So then if, by doing that, it brings it here. I don't know what it does from there to there. That's the problem is you've got to, you know, it's... That's what we ran into with the kitchen. You fix one spot and then yeah. it throws off something right, else. Uh, and then... It's not a horrible pop. I mean, that corner drops a little bit, but that's level right there. I mean, okay. can you see that far side? How far off is that? What side? The one on my right. It's probably a half inch because my fingers don't need to level it. So that board's also kicked out. You see it? Yeah. So it's not bad. Yeah, on we can't go end to end. I just round them up and then they can deal with that if they're okay. But the room is not 12 foot, it's only 12 foot wide too. So 12 foot is not going to be good running the other way either. Why did we get 12 foot? I don't know. But we have a whole crap ton of the 16 footers under the tarp. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, the other 16 footers. I think so. Yeah, that the first time. Okay. Well, let me go see how many of those I have because we're going to need at least. These are about two foot on center, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we sister that one, we need at least six 16 footers, right? Yeah, we do it that way, yes. Okay. Well, that, that flooring that we got, the subfloor says that we can do it. square and a sharpie so we can mark it. I'll actually notch the bottom and I want to get a break. Yeah. How do you like that? That support is doing nothing on that one. <laughs> so really we need to just cut three inches off one side, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And we don't even take that side off? Um, no, well, no, we can leave that side for right now. Okay. But I don't know whether we can cut these like this, but we'll try. Oh, because we have to cut them vertical, yeah, huh? Not yeah, yeah, I'll knock them out. Need to take it a measure. Or I could just use this. Yeah, huh? good. <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. 
To the length so they'll fit, right? Well, and plus, I don't want to cut just three inches off of every one. Let's put this joist down here. Let's jack that and put that on there. Let's throw a tape measure so that then when we put them in, they're, they they're going to fit, yeah. Okay. Okay. So just knock these the rest out. Just knock them loose, yes. Okay. All right, just make sure here on it. And then we're going to have to turn your two by eights into two by sixes. I got to take something, right? Well, that one hurts, though. Okay, so we're good over there. Yeah. So we just need to measure this now, right? Yep. Is that what you said? Yep, we got to measure there. And then this one. And this one here, we don't have to put one on, but we're going to jack that up, right? Yeah, we're going to do that last, right? Yeah. Okay. And then this one here. Let me ask you, if I, if, just hear me out. If we have room over here, Charles, because even though this board doesn't go all the way up, I have room up to here for an old board. If that's seven and a half all the way to there, why can't we just put the whole board without room? We can't. We could. Yeah. But we can't here. What are we going to do there? And when we go seven and a half there, what are we going to do? This is too high. Yeah. Over there, we're way too high. Oh, because if we did that, we would actually have to shim the bottom of these to lift them up to the edge. No, well, you'd still have to, yeah, to lift them up to be level. Okay. So we're not going to fight all that. We're just going to rip them. I'm going to measure this one more time, make sure it's five and a half all the way down. And once it's level, we can use little shims down here to lift the floor doors up if we need to to get it level. Or what? Because if I just put a board slap it against it, we're going to have the same shit, right? Yes. Yeah, we're going to do the same thing. I really wish I had my skill on my saw blade because it's fucking in there, but we'll just have to beat them flat and make it work. So what we'll do is we'll just measure, once we go from here over to there, we'll measure, how do we measure level? We can't. Well, we're gonna have to cut the length of the board and then rip it and then put it up there and see what we need to do with it, I guess. I know, because I would rather, I would still would rather have that board sitting on that beam. On this flat beam? Yeah. So that's what it's going, right? Right against this? Yeah, but then that means we have to cut the board on an angle because it's going to have to be wider over there than it is over here because that goes downhill. I'm, I'm losing, we're losing control of this again. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. We we talked about reusing these things. Because we're not we're not lifting that whole wall over there, right? We cut the board and we rip it, set it against there. If that side's low but it's high over here, when we put this board over that's level, it should match up to that one and that will lift that corner up for us. Right. So we don't have to worry about that. Right. Then all we have to do is butt these back in and then worry about this side. We're going to leave that corner the way it is. Right, because that should be the highest point in the room. So we'll be going from there, raising that corner in both directions. Right. This okay. Right. All right. Hey, measure, please, babe. And then, but how do we have to measure this right length? Yep. And then we have to figure out that's a baby. how high we have to be to be level. Right. We're going to have to put the level on it and then screw it to that board. Yeah. And then we're going to have to probably either put some under. We shouldn't even have to shim it though if we're screwing it to that big ass beam, right? It should hold it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Or I can get the nail gun and I got those three yeah. inch nails we can use too. Nail gun? Yes, we're going to need a nail gun and the three inch nails and a hose for the compressor ball through this window at some point, please. Okay, I'm going to take Gage out and then I'll get that. Can I do that tackle? Good. Uh, I don't know where any of those things are. Right Come on. You took your collar off again, you big dummy. We'll worry about this one first, huh? And we're going to rip it all to five. Well, no, 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 Gage. Okay, we're just going to set. He needs to go put in. Put it in. in. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. And then we're going to level the line going across. Oh, okay. uh, we're 
That way we only have to raise it once. Yeah. 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 Take up that we got to put a half inch underneath this. We'll put some shims underneath. Yeah, we could just out. we could shim it up a half inch. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's easy you think this that old really, board is actually going to move this though? This is the problem. Now. The board's not going to flex. These boards are like concrete. Yeah. So they you can lift the middle, but the whole board's going to lift. Um, it's not going to bend. This is under a wall. Okay. All right. You think it'll lift it up? Will, it'll, I'm thinking it will because okay. it's under a wall. All right. Okay. We'll do it. Okay. So, so. What we need to jack this beam right next to it. Right next to that Joe is sitting. And so we can put a half inch. What's the matter? So there was another something here, a door or something at some point. Because this seat, yeah. no boards. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have to lift both. Beams. Yeah, I don't think this was originally part of the house. I don't know. This, this room. Yeah, they added it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so well, we, we just have to lift beams. the beam. There's two it. beams. This yes. is the same thing. Vertical. Right. Oh, a okay. beam on each side. Okay. You have to lift both right. of them. Yeah. Okay. Let me get the jack. I got the two by fours that I can use. And I, can I just give you regular shims? Can we shim it? Will as that hold? As long as I got a half inch. Can put two of them together. Or, or I can just take a, a piece of scrap that I got out there and we can just cut a half inch okay. piece and go. All right. You got that, baby? You're not supposed to be in and out of this damn hole with your back the way it is now, lady. Yeah, fuck you. This, um, my back's fucking turning. I've been fucking. I've been If you put it on center, where do I need to pull it off at? What we're going to do... My phone died and no longer could use the video camera. So we proceeded to continue videoing using my sister's phone. 
at the end of the day, we're all sitting around the front porch and our little dog walks up and knocks a rock off of the retaining wall right onto her phone, crushing it, destroying it. All of the footage on her phone is gone. So I'm just going to post pictures that we took throughout the day um, showing what else everyone did. The last project was to take advantage of all of the muscle and remove the huge buck stove that was in the living room.